This presentation is designed to help you, the parents and the guardian, get to know all of the different ways that you can utilize Infinite Campus's parent portal. If you do not already have access to the parent portal, you can email portal at franklin.k12.ga.us to gain access. In your email, make sure you include your name as well as the names of your children. Some of the reasons you may want to use the Parent Portal of Infinite Campus are to stay up to date on your child's grades. You will receive notifications on your smartphone when a new grade is entered for an assignment. You will also be made aware of how many days your child has missed of school and you'll have quick access to your child's schedule. If you have a smartphone and would like access to the Parent Portal, there's just three easy steps. The first step is to download the app. Uh, the second step is to enter the district ID. This is a very important step that many people miss. There is a unique district ID that must be entered. You can see here it's BZFGRX. And then the third step is to enter your account information. Again, you have to request access from Portal before you can utilize this. If you would like to use the website and the unique features that are there, the link is listed at the top of the page. If you prefer not to type that in, you can go to the school webpage and click on the quick link. Again, you'll need your username and your password to log in. For the next few slides, I will walk you through the features that are found in the Parent Portal of Infinite Campus. Once you've logged in to Infinite Campus, you'll be able to see your child's calendar, schedule, attendance, grades, and fees. One of the newest and most valuable features of Infinite Campus is the SLDS portal. Once you click the SLDS link, you will see Home, Resources, and Close. Underneath, you'll also see icons for Performance, Schedule, and Backpack. Click the performance icon. Once you click the performance icon, you'll see your child's attendance in a bar graph which details how many days your child has missed since their first day of school throughout all of the years. Underneath, you'll see your child's Lexile scores which is derived from the CRCT test. Lexile score is a way of measuring your child's reading level. If you would like to know more about Lexile scores, you can click the link or you can contact your child's teacher. Further down the page, you'll find your child's standardized test scores for tests such as the CRCT. In green, you can see the subjects that your child has passed. In gold, you'll see the subjects that your child has exceeded in. And in red, you'll find does not meet. If you want to know more about what the score means, you can click on any subject. Once you select and click on a subject, in this case I've selected mathematics, you will see the school year that the test was taken along with the strands that were presented on the test. In this case, the student was tested over algebra, data analysis, geometry, and numbers and operations. To the right, you can see the percent that the student got correct along with the total number of items for that strand and the number of the items that the student got correct. If you would like to know how your child compares to the students of Franklin County and the state of Georgia, click the blue hyperlink for that information. Back on the SLDS homepage, you'll see a tab for resources. If you click this tab, you can select the grade that your child is in and see the standards that your child is being taught. To the right, there are also links that you can click on to learn more about what your child is learning. I hope that this short presentation has helped you become more acquainted with Infinite Campus's parent portal. If you have any questions about using it, please do not hesitate to contact the school.